Vsat awaiting orders. Orbital VSAT waiting order. So we got some Black Ops 2 for all you thirsty motherfuckers that like Call of Duty, especially if you like Black Ops 2. So we got some Scorpion Evo gameplay on the map Plaza. So you see my streaks. I got the VSAT dogs and swarm. And I hope Treyarch brings that VSAT. We need to have that VSAT for the next Call of Duty. That's like their main streak, you know? VSAT and dogs. Huh? At least dogs. Right? So anyways, man, so yesterday I uploaded a video. I want to talk about that. I'm a mean guy, man. It was a dick move. Soldier, you, that was not all right, man. Come on, soldier. Really? Let me explain myself. Because a lot of people seem, it seems like they don't understand that riding a bike on the winter when there's snow on the ground, it's not right. Yeah, but soldier, that's the only thing he has. He cannot afford a car, man. You know, he's going to work. People say that on the comments. He's going to work, soldier. Oh, really? You know that. You can see from that video that the guy is going to work. Who the fuck knows where that guy was going, man? He was probably, he was probably going to a friend's house, drink some beer, and watch the hockey game. Maybe he was just going to the store, buy some toilet paper. Who the fuck knows, man? Now here's the problem. And try to understand this. First things first. The guy's not even wearing a helmet. Now who's the danger? Okay. Also, I gotta say, before somebody on the comments below said, Yeah, but you were driving and filming. That is very true. And that was very unresponsible from myself for doing that. But I caught that guy from the road before. It, I was like, I wasn't following him, but I saw him from far distance. And I see many of them like that. First things first, if you notice on the video, there was no cars right in front of me. I was looking straight in front of me and I was filming the guy. And I, you know, most, most of the video was at the, uh, at the red light. Okay. So let's get it on. So the guy gets at the intersection, tried to brake, and he's, he falls on the ground. Luckily, he didn't hurt himself. It's I'm not wishing the guy to hurt himself. So I found it funny. All right. I called the guy an idiot for this. One, he's not wearing a helmet. Number two, he's riding a bike on the snow. Can somebody please on the comments... Please, come with some common sense and tell me you're right, man. What he's doing is just stupid. Okay, what would happen if the guy would have tried to break and he would have slipped even further and there would be a car coming from the other way, from the left side, going down and would have hit him, caused a tragic accident, would have killed the guy. Or what if the car, when we would see him, would try to... You know, would try to go away from him and would hit somebody walking on a sidewalk. It could have happened. What if the guy would have fall and would have hit my car and broke a mirror or scratch my door or break my, you know, my window glass? What if that would happen? Oh, but that didn't happen. So... You know, it's a dick move, soldier. It's not right what you did, man. You know, it didn't happen. So, does it has to happen for you to realize that what he's doing is stupid and not smart? Like, if I go with some logic of these people that were saying that, you know, I'm a mean guy and whatever I did there was not right. So, here's their logic. They're in their car. They're, they're at the light sign, right? So the, the guy on the bike comes, he falls on the ground, he hits your car, he scratches your door. So here's what they would probably do. They would get out of the car, go help the guy. Hey, man, you all right? Hey, don't worry about the scratch, man. It's going to cost me about $500, but I'll, you know, I'll take care of it. You need to go to work, you know? You can't afford a car. It's all good, bro. Keep it going, man. That's, that's these guys' logic. Come on, man. If the guy can't afford a car, 
I doubt the guy cannot for, uh, afford a bus ticket or a subway or a, a cab, you know, a taxi. It's not smart to drive, I mean to drive, to, to ride a bike on the winter. If there's no snow on the ground, I can, you know, at least say, okay, you know, hey, it's just cold, man. You know, I guess the guy is going to be cold, but there's nothing really on the ground that can cause him to slip on the ground and, you know, cause an accident. Safety first. It's not that I'm specifically pointing this guy that I filmed. I see tons of these morons riding a bike with snow sometimes even more snow than this and they're there and they're like fucking pedaling the bike like forcing like fucking dummies like what are you doing it's super dangerous i see like they're twisting their their steering wheel it's like going left and right they can't even fucking keep the bike straight it's common sense but again i, I i'm i'm the mean guy i'm the one who's not right he can't afford uh, a car and that's the only thing he's going to work and that's funny people put it right away on the most innocent contest uh he's going to work come on dude yeah okay he's gonna he scratches my car hey dude come on man get up and hey go to work bro you know it's all good man i'll fix the scratch come on <laughs> anyways man i hope you guys understand you know, try to make you guys realize that the way you're thinking is not smart. Okay, I'm just saying that. Was it smart for my part of filming? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I wasn't driving fast. I was holding the phone. No cars right in front of me. Something could have happened. That is true. Something could have happened. But to this guy, look at him. Look at this. Riding his bicycle on the snow no helmet he's a danger to himself and to anybody that surrounds him that was a dick move soldier you're mean let the guy go to work <laughs> uh.